Welcome everybody back to another bold cast reaction. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. And this is Kaiju number eight, episodes two and three. Mm -hmm. Let's check it out. Lindsay really loved the first episode. Mm -hmm. Very You were very delightfully surprised. Mm -hmm. And so was I. I've, I, I read, I think, judging by the thumbnail of the third episode, I probably read up to the third or fourth episode is, is where my thing kind of fell. But uh, I, I was very pleasantly surprised with how good the adaptation was. It, it kind of surpassed what I had thought about the series. So I think we're going to have a pretty fun time going forward. Mm -hmm. Leave a like and subscribe. Check out Patreon. Hope you enjoy. Let's go. Oh, there's going to be the OP and AD too. Oh, yeah. Shit. I think it's so gross looking. <laughs> Don't tell my mom or your mom. <laughs> She's so freaking cool, <laughs> her tiger. Yeah. <laughs> Like, yeah, the, you're it's supposed to be annoyed. You're supposed to be aware of it. <laughs> Is he dying? <laughs> oh, don't. I was gonna say, don't touch him. Well, well, it's not gonna help your case at all. Not at all. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh my oh. god! <laughs> 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 My God. What the fuck is that? Ew! Oh my God! <laughs> so fucking dumb. Imagine how absolutely inconvenient that would be. I think I can accomplish my dreams. <laughs> Fuck no! <laughs> Are you stupid? <laughs> Bad timing. You, you just need a disguise, you know? <laughs> you just work, get right? you a bowler hat, some of those glasses with the mustache and the big mm. nose. He's gonna fight this one that's gonna be like they're fighting each other hmm. <laughs> it's 
really <laughs> Attack on Titan. Yeah, this is literally here. Attack on Titan. That thing is creepy as hell. Yeah, I don't I don't like that thing. Ew. You just killed like 50 other people. <laughs> you at least you just destroyed they're, like they're five supposedly homes. Evacuated. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Get the bookshelf off her mom. Yeah. Are you a doctor? I hate, like that thing's so gross. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that went so hard. Oh, the... oh my god. It looks so good. <laughs> oh my god. Ew. It'll be an easier cleanup job. Oh, look, it's really spread out. Get them out of here. You didn't give us enough time. <laughs> Get them <out> of here, <laughs> they're just like, covered in blood. <laughs> Good thing that blood's not like acidic. <laughs> yeah, don't get any bar fights or anything. I feel like that might be foreshadowing. Hmm. <laughs> もう<笑><笑> Whoa! I was I was wondering if he was gonna be able to like switch it up or not. He has to like really will it, I guess, or like. Every, Every last, last one. one. <laughs> <laughs> this complicates my worldview. <laughs> just said I was going to kill all of them. Why are you making it difficult? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it number eight? Haven't there been more than eight? Are they just different types? Oh, like, maybe. Because they're yeah. like, oh, it's the same type as that other one. Hmm. Oh. For the defense force. <laughs> nice one. Mm hmm. Go check to see if he passed. <laughs> <laughs> 
ってずっと頑張ってたもんな<笑> That's nice. I like these guys. <laughs> Always pass the first round. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful with his leg. <laughs> Just snaps his leg off. <laughs> oh shit, already. <coughs> Oh, is their monster business a private company? It's like Monster Sweeper? <laughs> I didn't think it was a... I thought it was... Like a government, government? business. Some <laughs> laps in. Just transforms. There's a two like like that. <laughs> what a bitch. Too bad. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe that's my lucky number. That's not very nice. Uh, no. I better put it back down nicely. This is a company vehicle. <laughs> yeah, it's a company car. <laughs> How to introduce just a character you Does instantly insurance dislike. cover that? Yeah. Shinomiya. Wow. That's funny. <laughs> It's very lucky what his job is, at least. It's English OP and ED. I really like the art. Oh no, yeah, somebody said, what was it? Yeah, I like the art too. The scientist lady. I love this operating system. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. That's a pretty sick weapon. Ooh. 
One Republic, right? I really like this ending. Yeah, me too. Who is that? Hmm. W. What do you think of the OP and ED? I really like. I really like both of them. Yeah. Like the the OP is like just like very visually different yes, you know like yeah. it, it it just kind of catches you off guard but it's really cool good song like it, it i feel like it really fits the vibe and then the ending is is just like really chill and nice and i like all the colors like kind of like a pastel tone to it and it, you know just classic ending where it's just pictures of of stuff but I, I do like the little, like, oh, it's on a computer and the person's, like, opening files and stuff. Mm -hmm. I like that the computer itself is, like, an old Mac mm -hmm. or an old iMac. Let's see. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's one of the old ones with, like, the handle on the back. Uh, yeah, the, the OP is really interesting because, again, it's, like, the show... In the first episode, I made a comment that, like, the score was sort of, like, emulating kaiju movies when, it, like, the kaiju first showed up. It was really crazy. It didn't feel so much like a modern anime. It feels more like it in this episode, but uh, w with the with the OP as well, it, it's, like, with this shot and everything and the whole style of everything, it feels like a, a kaiju or, like, a Super Sentai type vibe, like, a, like Power Rangers or, uh, or mm. things like that. Which is probably, those things are, and, and things in that s sort of genre are probably inspiration. So the fact that they went with this kind of aesthetic and look for the OP is not only, like, really interesting because in, it's different, it's also really interesting because it's kind of in, in a way that. referential or, or uh, yeah. Yeah, it's in, it's in that kind of vibe. And it looks great. Like, it's so, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really, and the, it, like very the colors interesting. And, like, the... the this the like and the yeah like very and... like psychedelic kind of stuff like it, it's i really enjoyed it yeah it was very interesting what do you think of the episode i i really like this episode again is i feel like this show so far i feel like there's there's like a, a really good balance of like wholesome and more serious things yeah. plus like the comedy genuinely really funny comedy plus action and like a like a bit of a horror element with the the kaiju and stuff so i, f I feel like it's um like it, just everything is balanced really well so far in the first two episodes you know um and i i really i really like it mm -hmm. like it's, it's just it's just a lot of fun you know mm -hmm. and you can see now the more like a, where, where i said attack on titan and, and yeah. one punch man where he like I'm gonna punch as hard as I can, and, they and just then he punches it into and it explodes. Yeah. Like yeah, it's it's again, it's it's not just um, it's 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 those re if the it's those sort of like things that are not just you know oh I want to make my own you know shonen manga series mm -hmm. and I, what I, you know I'm just gonna write what I think is cool. It's it maybe but like it seems like an intentional you know yeah using what works and bringing them all together it's like i want to create the manga that uses all the things that made all these series really um like striking mm -hmm. and and put them in in and in, in you use those things to to, to my advantage mm -hmm. and like i said like the the balance of everything i feel like is what really makes it work and what makes it feel like its own identity rather than just Oh, it's Attack on Titan, but like with One Punch Man in it. You know what I mean? Like it, it doesn't feel like um, I don't know. I I, fe I feel like sometimes when people take inspiration from things or like trying to manufacture like oh the next big thing, it's like yeah. they they just take they they don't they don't get they don't they don't make it its own thing. But I I just I just it it just, this just feels very fun to watch, but also familiar in certain ways. Yeah. Um. And I, I feel like it's really effective. And, uh, yeah, I really like the... Um, yeah. 
I really I like, like. I love the show. <laughs> yeah, I, I really. I'm. I'm just having so much fun. Yeah, I mean, it's. It's like it's one of those things that. Yeah, it really achieves the sort of oh, it's like everything you've seen before, but you know, just new and you know, different in its own mm -hmm. way and fun, and you know, that's all it's trying to be, and that's. It really achieves that, you know, mm -hmm. like some some series. Yeah, you're right. Try to do that, and just don't like ha hit really well. Mm -hmm. But uh, but this show seems like it's really gonna. And yeah, I think I might have what the way this is the pace this is going. I will probably have have read up to next episode. If not, then the like early on the, they'll then. probably end on the moment that I uh, end an episode on the moment that I left off on because mm. I think it was a big moment. It was like a big cliffhanger. Mm. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they're getting into the exam arc, and this is where it starts to feel like um, this episode of like halfway through. It kind of started to feel like we're getting into the My Hero Academia mm. type vibe that I was uh, referencing before, and we'll see more of that kind of shit mm -hmm. next time, which is going to be very interesting. I hate this gonna... girl. She's she's just Yeah, bitch. how, like, how, <laughs> literally, how do you, how do we introduce somebody that it's, people instantly dislike, you know? Yeah, and then you see her in the, the ending, and she's got, like, that super cool, like, weapon the, like this giant, giant like axe, axe thing yeah. and it's like it, it makes sense with that she has this like crazy suit that allows her to be really strong so then she it's more effective for her to use like a, a big powerful a, weapon, a weapon. Yeah. but it's, it's so it's like she looks super badass but i'm just like i fucking cannot stand you mm -hmm. you're so annoying you literally just like picks up pick up you just flex on the fact that you have this suit you're obviously your parents are rich or something well you know and, her, you know her name she, yeah. yeah, and then and then she just like picks up this car, throws it to the side, and then is like, just calling him old, and it's just like, just settle down. Yeah, and I think it's it's kind of a funny thing because I think if it was his car, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But, yeah, but because we know the company, and because all the guys at the company are awesome, like, yeah, and, and we like, really like his stuff, job. Yeah. So like the fact that we know and we ins we already are are like like all the dudes that he works with the mm -hmm. fact that they're destroying the company property to, I think <laughs> makes it slightly worse than if it was just his shitbox car yeah or if it was like he was working for a company and everyone there sucked and he hated the company yeah. and it was like oh I'm gonna like I'm gonna take advantage of this company car one last time before I leave them in the dust and never have to look at them yeah. again you know what I mean it's like I feel yeah I yeah. feel like it, it's somehow extra effective. Mm -hmm. It's not even his car. Yeah. It makes you feel really bad. It's like, oh, now he's causing, no, like, sh because she's causing trouble for these other guys who we like and who he, who like yeah. him and, like, are and we're like helping them. Him and, out yeah. And, yeah. Like, yeah. <clears throat> you know? It's like, like always looking after him and trying to cheer him up and stuff. Like, it's, <laughs> it's, it's just such a small thing, but it really does help communicate that you're supposed mm -hmm. to dislike this girl. Yeah. You know? She's terrible. Yeah, she sucks. And that shot at the end, uh, over here where they were like, like for, this is the shot from the OP, mm -hmm. or the panel from the OP where they're just like super badass fighting this dragon. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. I love how he's doing like this, and she's got the the stick, mm -hmm. just like when they were kids. Yeah. And I bet I like we'll that. see that, but he'll be kaiju mode. Mm hmm. What do you think's going on? We're, real quick, before we move on to the next one, what do you think's going on with the kaiju, or do you want to save that? I don't. Because we mentioned that he's <coughs> kaiju number eight, and you're probably right that there are different types. There's like seven different types of kaiju, mm -hmm. and he's the eighth. He's like a new variant. Yeah, but I don't really know what's going on there because the thing, whatever, it's like I found you or whatever, and I'm like, I don't know if that was just like it found like a suitable host, but he seems to have mostly complete control. Um, over himself, it's it's not like um, you know, in Attack on Titan, where it's just where like, going, like where it's just like he gains control eventually and like masters it eventually, but at first it's like not you know he doesn't have control and it's like sketchy and you know, but here he he just like immediately had control from the first instant and it, and and was never a danger to anyone else. Other than he's just strong, he doesn't know his own strength, you know? Yeah. Um, so, but then he was also turning into that, like, weird other variation with, like, tentacles yeah. and stuff. Clearly he wasn't trying to do that. Um, 
But, like, now, he, like, he's able to switch back and forth and seems to have full control over himself. So I'm not really sure... I'm not really sure what the advantage um, would be for that, like, weird little creature that, like, is seemingly, like, took him as a host if... Well, so here's the thing. Maybe, if we're going with Attack on Titan rules, maybe they're all people. And they're all parasitic hosts. Like, all of yeah. the kaiju are actually are humans. And, you know, they're just, they didn't get control or something. Mm -hmm. You know? It's, uh, yeah, I, like, I was, I was thinking that a little bit too. It's just... And that's why they, like, pop out of nowhere. Like, seemingly. Because mm -hmm. they are, you know, being taken over by people. Or maybe my theory with him specifically is that this this kaiju that like to control of him was an experiment from the government probably that escaped mm. and then something about his drive to like his like it's going to be something like his cuz again we're, we're talking about like reference referential shit to like uh one punch man and my hero academia if you think about Deku, which you don't know, but mm -hmm. Deku and um, Saitama, the di the thing that separates them from everyone else is that they have, like, this shonen drive to... Well, at least Saitama did. <laughs> the problem is that he lost it once he got his powers. But up until the point where he got his powers and Deku for the whole thing is, despite not having the ability to do what you want, that that the, they have the drive to achieve what mm -hmm. they want and, like you know, keep moving forward despite that. Like, Deku has no powers, but he wants to be a superhero. Uh, and mm -hmm. then he gets powers, but that, that like, drive in him and that, that like, not knowing what it's like to be powerless while having all of this power is is kind of a big part of his character and, and what drives him forward. So, and that's kind of what gives him the, <coughs> in a way, like, a moral authority to dispense justice and to fight and stuff like that, is that mm -hmm. he knows what it's like to be powerless and he uh, wants it more than everyone else and he understands it better than anyone else because he had to study it and stuff like that with Saitama what made what gave him his powers was that he didn't really have any powers but he wanted like his dream mm -hmm. he like removed his limiter like he wanted to be powerful and uh, he trained until he could make it happen to the point where he lost all his hair and you know it's it's a big joke but the the thing is again it's like this drive so i think mm -hmm. that the kaiju probably was looking for someone who had the drive or who had that kind like maybe the kaiju can sense that kind of spiritual energy or something like that whatever however it manifests in the show mm -hmm. or whatever explanation they'll eventually use um and i think that it, it might because it's like a new variant either it's like they're mutating and uh, the kaiju are like he's like the amalgamation of all the different kaiju mm. things. Also, it's funny that there's n uh, or oh, there's eight. Never mind. Maybe there will be nine. I was thinking because there's like nine titans. Mm. Um, anyway, so like either it's mutation from all of them or it's a government thing to try and synthesize it to make a super soldier because they got these suits like yeah. that like that she has. And, uh, you know, maybe that's derived from the same shit because the, 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 out, the outlines and, like, the hash marks around her when she was using the strength powers mm -hmm. or whatever were very similar to when Heel is, like, charging up his punch, but red because mm -hmm. it's, like, synthesized maybe. I don't know. Something like that. I, either it's a mutation or it's a government thing trying to harness the ability of the kaiju. But um, relating it to all the things that... And if you think of Eren as well, yeah. in a way... Um, but like the the like you're because you bring up a good point. It's like why would that thing say I found you? It must have been looking for him. Well, why would it be looking for him? Yeah. Either he has some secret backstory, which I don't think he does, because that would kind of undercut the whole thing, or it's in line with the things that it's that the story that the series is borrowing from, and it's this shonen like drive yeah. to do shit. And despite like that's why he's like thirty two and he still really wants to be a part of the defense force. So mm -hmm. that thing somehow the creature can sense that through pheromones or some bullshit and took control of him because that would be a good enough host for for the creature to be able to do what it wants to do and at this point in the story i'm not even 100 percent sure that the author maybe even knows what that is it seems like the kind of thing that you would make the monster say to 
foreshadow shit that you don't exactly have entirely but planned you, out. Like, maybe but you have want, a couple ideas. But you are, also just you want know. to intrigue the audience with like, mm -hmm. why would this thing be looking for him? You know, like that. The, the you you write that in because it puts the this question and this conversation in the audience's mind. That's yeah. the reason. So like, what what it actually will manifest in the story, I think, is secondary from a writing perspective. And the main thing is to get is the audience the, to ask yeah. these questions in the first place. Mm -hmm. Realistically, I think it's going to be very like like the rest of the show. It's going to be very similar to things that we've already seen or that mm -hmm. other people have already seen. And but I, I, I don't think I don't. I'm not really dreading that. Like no, I would with I, another show. I, I don't. Yeah, that that's why I like it's it's interesting to think about. But I find myself at least at this point thinking that like no matter what the reason yeah, might be, I'm I don't be, like unless yeah. it was like so terrible that it just completely ruined the show. Like unless there's like the super secret Hokage of the Defense Force <laughs> and he is like uh, the descendant of the fucking Hokage of, the def <laughs> of this government body. And, you know, that's what it was looking for is the blood, to think it is bloodline. That would be so fucking dumb. Like, okay, there, like, there are a few things. That but would be I'm the not... one thing where I would be, but like, if it's, if, it, if, if it's like no real reason. Or if it's just kind of generic yeah. or whatever, like, I'm not concerned about that as long as, as long as, um, if it's not going to be pivotal to the story, they don't try and make it you, like insert it as the most important thing like oh, if, if yeah if, yes if yeah. the if his journey as like becoming like joining the defense force and like managing you know also you know having this like weird creature mode that he can turn into like it, it like I, I i i like the characters enough that i'm fine for it to just be about the characters and then i would rather yes. it be about the characters the, then, um, like some like it's a weird, weird prophecy thing, yeah, yeah. What? Well, well, that 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 make so. If it was like what I said, that would be dumb. But if it was like the kaiju have been, you know, they were appearing thousands <coughs> of years ago in like Shinto myth or something like that, like in the legends of Japanese history, mm -hmm. and those were kaiju, and he's somehow a distant, distant descendant of like people who fought it back in the back like a thousand mm -hmm. years ago or something i could see that that wouldn't be as aggravating what would be aggravating is like this you know what i said of, of just like oh he's actually the grandson of the guy who fucking created the kaiju or some shit yeah that would be kind of lame but you know even if it is that i don't think i would care that much mm -hmm. it'd still be fun i'm just having a lot of fun let's watch the next yeah. one well you smell like a bitch get out of my face <laughs> ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
just made it. <laughs> well, she got number five. Did she do that on purpose? Good. Well, she says her lucky, her lucky number. number. Well, maybe you're just you're just you know so good at this. That and then two plus the three one. is five. She's number twenty-three. It's all coming Damn. together. She's really lined it all up. <laughs> Is that guy like also in love with her or something? They're like paired a lot and shit. <laughs> so he's in Tokyo Revengers over here. <laughs> Oh, so he wasn't that bad, it's just that there's Everyone a lot of really, really good, good people this year. Oh, she's like Asuka. She's from California. Hmm. So she's half? Probably. She's number five, so... <laughs> I love you can hear the running up to before I punched him. <laughs> <laughs> She's so great, but she has bodyguards to come beat up people for her. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's really smart. Oh boy. Kill them. <laughs> uh, with do, what? Do we, do we? Yeah. Do we get any? Uh, any, any weapons? <laughs> it's got like hooves on its fingers. It's creepy. This has got to be kaiju shit, you know what I mean? Mm. It's got to be, right? Oh. Oh, it is. it is. Oh, it literally, it literally is. is. Okay. They're not hiding the fact that it's like that. That's like disturbing. That's okay, no, that, yeah, I thought cool. they were gonna hide like that. that. Yeah. They definitely are farming whatever Kafka had to like make this shit. It's a girl! Hmm. Oh, I wonder if he's gonna have super high because it's like melt. It's like he's already kaiju, so it's, it's like gonna it, be a hundred percent. Yeah. It's either good. It might be zero. Because mm -hmm. it's usually around twenty percent. 
これマジで過去最高の豊作年かもしれんねおおダンスはこれから彼女が一緒に一緒に一緒に一緒に一緒に一緒に一緒に一緒に一緒に一緒に一緒に一緒に一緒に一緒に一緒に一緒に一緒に一緒に一緒に一緒に一緒に一緒に一緒に一緒に一緒に一緒に一緒に一緒に一緒に一緒に一緒に一緒に一緒に一緒に一緒に一緒に一緒に一緒に一緒に <laughs> Or wonder if it's zero because because he it's not like, attaching to him or what? Yeah, maybe. Or or because he it's there's it's not like unleashed because mm. he already oh because he, he like you might be like suppressing the power so like because mm -hmm. if he unleashes it he'll just transform. It's the same thing. All you need to do is just pass. <laughs> yeah, she's like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> the suits look really cool. Mm -hmm. mm. She knows what so she's what doing. what happens when you have 46% or whatever. She's gonna kill all of them. She's pretty much good enough to be on the team already. Yeah, I feel like the, I feel like you can just pull her out of the. Oh, he can't even lift the. What? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Only I know what an incredibly heavy burden we carry. Oh. <laughs> Try to look cool for her. Just like... do a partial underneath the suit. I like this. <laughs> I actually like that a lot. Knows all like the weak spots. Grenades, maybe? Yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Do it. Hell yeah. <laughs> Just did not expect anyone to be doing this. <laughs> I love this, it's so fun! Isn't it so good? I actually love it. I'll just get one good punch in. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, they better oh, not God. activate his thing or else he's done. He's gonna be like, I'd rather die, don't activate my fucking suit. This is my last chance of my dream. Oh boy, oh boy. Or will he, does he get to heal up really good? He can at least turn on the shit. Well, they would maybe notice. Oh, 
In front of your girl, bro. In front of your girl. No! This is Shinomiya. <laughs> She's like, I want a complete victory, not victory with people dropping out. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy. Partial transformation. You might have to try it. <laughs> now it's Mob Psycho. <laughs> They somehow worked Mob Psycho 100 <laughs> into the fucking story, the too. Percent. Yeah. Whenever he's, like, gonna be powering up, it's gonna go... <laughs> no. Oh, come on. It's gonna end here? No. No! Oh, too old for dreams trying to make him a reality is what yeah. he's saying. <laughs> he's talking about his dreams, so he's gonna point zero one percent. Damn it. I wish that we could just oh. binge this show. It's so fun. I can't. I'm so excited to keep watching this every week. I feel like it's gonna be awesome. It's yeah. gonna be so good. I'm actually <laughs> loving it so much. Mm -hmm. It feels like I. It's it. I. I'm not gonna talk about this every time anything happens. I promise. But the fact that it is like very familiar, like with all those things we keep talking about, it makes it feel like a classic show. I would have watched, like. I mean, it's obvious when you say mm -hmm. it, but, like, when, when I was, like, first getting into anime and stuff. Like, it yeah. seems like the kind of thing that would have come out ten years ago, and I actually love it. It's I, so good. I think also, like, I don't know, like, I, I, obviously afterwards, when we watch, like, last time during it, I was thinking, like, oh, this reminds me of Heavenly Delusion, like, just, like, I don't know, something about it, just, and, like, when we were watching Heavenly Delusion, something about that just felt, like, very, like, mm -hmm. classic as well, and then obviously it's the same, um, studio. studio. Um, but, like, even so, like, every once in a while, I'm just, like, something, I see something in this show that reminds me, just, like, I don't know, like, visually or, like, based on the vibe of that show, and then it just makes me like it even more, just because I loved Heavenly Delusion yeah. so much. Yeah, production IG is sick. Mm -hmm. And I, I love this percentage meter that's gonna be a thing. I, I, because it's I, gonna be a thing for the rest of the show. Like, there's, mm -hmm. like, there's no way, because this is the suit that he's gonna be in, yeah. so he's gonna, whenever he's gonna be powering up, it's gonna show... The percentage. And I love I just how love like, the point. They like, you think that it's gonna like, oh, he's gonna pop it's off, gonna go up and then to, it's like, like 50%. he has 0.01%. Uh, it's so but funny. But he's not giving up. I, I love that because it's like a low power floor, high power ceiling, because he's obviously way more yeah, powerful than Shinomiya. Yeah. Like his his uh, capabilities. Um, but Shinomiya is like no slut. I love that. Like, love she's, that. she's really good. I like that she's actually. She's literally good. Asuka. By the way, mm -hmm. she's literally Asuka. It's so funny. <laughs> I just, I like that she's, uh, like she, you know, she, I like how she, um, like talked about, like she, she was, you know, she like. She talked big and she backed it up. Yeah. And yeah. then even in the physical part where she wasn't wearing the suit, cause that, for, when, I, I like that because when the suit is first introduced, it's like, okay, so she has this magic suit that yeah. like lets her do it. And then we find out that, okay, everyone gets a magic suit, but hers is better just because she is naturally 
-hmm. more gifted. Like, she, it, it's like, um, and she's been training as well. So it's like, she wasn't, she wasn't just able to like flip the car around because, um, you know, she, she was basically paying for a, a, uh, an upgrade. Pay to win, yeah. Um, she's actually She's on the good. same playing field as everyone else. Yeah. Like she got an early access to the suit because she's rich. But she's like now that they're here, it's not like she's magically somehow mm -hmm. better, you know. And like they were saying, like she has the she, she, she's like way most people only get to twenty percent even with training. So the fact that she's already like almost at fifty percent is crazy. Mm -hmm. I was just looking up the gun. Yeah, they changed the look of the gun mm. to be more like sci-fi looking. Like if you see. It's more just like a regular looking gun. Yeah. I feel like I like it like a little bit more. I like it a little bit more sci-fi too. Especially since it seems to be like their guns are also like are more powerful based on their power. Yeah. It's the output of it's yeah. connected to their suit, I think. It's, I, I like that. I like that they didn't try and make it a mystery that the suits are like made out of kaiju. Like they just say that that's it. But then it's also interesting because it's like if, if they know that humans and kaiju are like genetically compatible essentially is like like that's that's what yeah would even make it a possibility for this to happen so the fact that they know that does like yeah bring more um Credence possibility to to, that, to, yeah. to like oh so if we already know that we can make this suit what if we or like even for her, it's like what if what if what if she's been taking like kaiju supplements or like kaiju getting, steroids. taking shots of yeah. like distilled S s something from a kaiju, you know what I mean? It's like, um, if, if they're clearly genetically compatible enough that a suit can, like, mold to them and enhance their muscles and, like, tap into power and stuff, then, you know, there's, if you were a scientist within this world, you would probably see a lot of possibilities to take that further and experiment with that, you know? Mm -hmm. One really subtle thing, and I don't know if this is on purpose or if it's just an animation thing, with her that it shows how how much she's been preparing for this for her life is the fact that she's looking down the scope right now and she has her other eye open. Mm. If you don't know, that's in um, in sniper training. You know, you always see in movies there's a guy like like that. Mm -hmm. They actually train you not to close your other eye, mm. at least as far as I know. Because if you, you get snuck up on or like you can't prepare for danger. Mm. So in, in like uh, like the Navy SEALs, like Marines and shit like that, like high level uh, uh, military, they have uh, they, they they're trained to keep to be able to look down the scope without closing their mm. other eye, which is pretty cool. So I don't know. So it shows that she kind of like Asuka has been really preparing for this like her whole life. And, it, and, like, it's a big part of her pride. Mm hmm So it's going to be interesting. <coughs> forward. I loved the, like, oh, because we've been on cleanup duty. I love that, I, love I that know too. their weaknesses because, like, I know every, every, like, tendon in their body, essentially. Like, it, it, I love that. It's so cool. I love that, um... I guess I just, I just, I love the commitment to, you know, starting your story with this, like, 30-something-year-old protagonist yeah. who has this job and has had this job for, like, whatever, the last probably, like, 10-plus years. Um, and I love that it's, like, you give him, and I feel like in a, in a different thing, it would be, like, he's an office worker or, like, s something generic. Um, but I like that you went out of your way to give him this, uh, like, kaiju cleanup job. And then you actually use it. You're utilizing yeah. it in such a good way, um, because yeah, of course he would know a lot about these creatures. Obviously, everyone else would as well, but he has a much more intimate knowledge and would know things that um, you know other people might not. And it's just I I like that and I appreciate that. And I also I like love that commitment. Yeah, um, 100%. I also like the the knowing that the that cleaning up after them was the test for the past two years. And that's why it makes sense that someone who, um, you know, has the potential, like, has the potential to, um, you know, and was planning to go into the defense force, decided to take the sanitation job. Yeah. Instead of just, like, um... You know, going to the gym. Yeah, like, just training <laughs> and having, like, a normal other job to, like, make money. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I like that a lot. It's cool. Mm -hmm. I like that, too. 
I think it's sick. I, I, I really like how they turned that around and how, yeah, how um, Ichikawa, like, on purpose did that. I think probably also because he's not maybe rich enough to go to the crazy schools, maybe. Mm -hmm. Because some of the, like, a lot of the people here went to, like, technical colleges yeah. for kaiju fighting. Uh, and like they like literally majored in kaiju fighting, but mm -hmm. he got like on the gr boots on the ground experience working the job for it. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I'm actually loving the show a lot more than I thought it was. I was like, and I think it's a, it, a big part of it is the adaptation, but like the adaptation isn't doing anything super flashy. It's just really supporting the material, mm -hmm. like. I, I, like, everything I'm seeing here is, is pretty much exactly how I remember it in the manga. But it, when I was reading the manga, like I said, it, it, I felt super, like, underwhelmed. Maybe it was just mm -hmm. me at the time. But I think I feel like just all, just the way, just the pacing. Like, it, it's really everything, well directed. Yeah, I was going to say, like, especially after, um, like, watching solo leveling and just seeing what was originally like seemed like a fun story yeah. be constantly hindered by the adaptation and specifically by the direction just making all the wrong choices every possible like every wrong scene, choice every, every other scene, scene it, like, was like completely everything that was really cool was immediately undercut yeah. by a directorial decision um that had nothing to do with like a budget or anything it was just like terrible artistic choices essentially yeah um, and then to see something like this that you can just tell is being handled by people who actually care story, about it yeah. and are trying to make it a good story in every regard and aren't just lying, relying off of like hype off of the original or and just being like, oh, well, this is an easy way we can just, you know, make this super generic thing and, you know, we'll you know, just whip it up. Yeah. It's like it's like everything about it and the, the like the pacing and the way the places that the episodes end like you know we're not getting um like a crazy cliffhanger for no reason it's like ending at like a part where you, you like you You're want excited to, see to see more what, yeah it's not like it's it's like in soul leveling they would ended it on when he got bit yeah and th and then it would have ended when the real beat is like him choosing to keep going mm -hmm. and despite how powerless he feels right now and despite like you know it like getting leaves that... you off on like that sense of forward yeah. momentum of like yes. yeah yeah and, but um. it's, it's not making us ask the question of oh is kafka gonna fucking die at the start of the show like no no you know that's not the point of the that's not that's not what <coughs> is interesting about the scene or this part of the story is is that there's no, there's no tension there at all because mm -hmm. you know he's the main character and there's still a lot more to explore and we're excited <coughs> to explore that so mm -hmm. tease that Rather than try and like you know play with our emotions randomly, just be you know it doesn't make any sense. But yeah, so that, th this this show so far is showing exactly what you can do with an adaptation of a pretty like cookie cutter premise. Um, but but you know there's still things to love about it, and making those things shine and and uh, is how it works. You know like mm -hmm. how, how you make it work and how you br make it interesting. It's mm -hmm. not by like you know uh, yeah anyway. I, and I'm loving it, and I can't wait to see more. And which is not, you know, we, we don't. For, we're usually looking for something a little bit more different, something more like some like heavily heavenly delusions, shit like that. Yeah, you know, well, some I a feel little, like... just a little bit more out there, slightly. Like mm -hmm. that's the thing, that, things that I get really excited for. So to feel really excited for something that you know, you know, something like this, it, it, I'm, it's great. I'm, I, I'm really happy with it. I think part of it also, and like what makes it like feel very fresh and unique is is like the tone of it because it's not trying it's not trying to bait you with like making it seem more serious than it is mm -hmm. you know like I, I think that that's that's like a really big part of it is it's not um like you you kind of know that everything's gonna be okay at least in this like earlier thing like you know maybe it gets more crazy later but yeah, they're not making me feel like, oh, I need to be afraid for the main character's life or, you know, it's kind of a given, like, he's gonna pass this. Yeah. So, how, how do, how, like, how do you keep me invested? But I'm still totally invested, you know what I mean? Like, it, I, I don't know. I, just something about, like, the vibe of it, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I feel like I can fully just, like, relax and enjoy the show, but still, but not just turn my brain off and not think about it like i'm i'm so invested yeah and it, it but i'm having fun 
you know? But I'm not, I'm like, fun. I'm not, like, stressed out of, like, oh, no, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it, it, and, and it doesn't feel like something like, um, 86 where, like, the show thinks that it, there's more stakes than I'm feeling. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. it's, it's, like, I feel like it's very aware of, like, exactly what the stakes are and how to portray it in a way that is, And like, how to instill the emotions in the audience. Yeah. You know, it's not, like, focusing on, you know, weird, I don't know, random, so like... Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I agree. It's great. Mm-hmm. Hope you guys like the reaction and discussion. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. Bye-bye.